Now that he's retired, Bill DeMeo makes sure he shuts off lights when he leaves a room and does everything else he can to keep his electric bill low. Kind of watch everything. I'll put a sweater on. I watch the thermostat. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> but DeMeo, who gets his electricity from an out-of-state solar provider, says his bill is still going up. Last fall, state regulators agreed to let Eversource raise its electric rates by 43 percent and National Grid by 64 percent. Something just didn't seem right here is the way that they were approaching this. State Representative John Barrett is one of more than 90 lawmakers who've written to the Department of Public Utilities calling the rate increases exorbitant, pointing out that since they were approved, oil prices have fallen dramatically and asking the DPU to reassess the rate increases. I don't see why they couldn't. Why couldn't the utilities come in and say, yes, the market's dropped, uh, the oil market's dropped, the energy costs have dropped to somewhat why don't we give our customers a break? The utilities point out that only a fraction of Massachusetts electricity is actually generated from oil, that most comes from natural gas, which remains expensive. And the chair of the legislative committee that oversees utilities says even if those generation costs do come down, the rates for customers are locked in twice a year. Can we undo a rate hike before the six months is up? No, it, it's the, the process doesn't allow for that. There are a couple of projects in the works that state officials say will make electricity cheaper in Massachusetts eventually.